hey guys um welcome back to my channel if you're new here you are welcome please subscribe hit that subscribe button down below and if you're not new thank you so much for tuning in again today so guys today's video as you guys can really tell from the title i am going to be doing the power of makeup and this thing has been around for over three years now somewhere between three to four years but i actually never attempted it i never tried it so i just thought it would be something interesting to do and it was started by um nikki tutorials which i'm sure everyone knows she's amazing she's so talented i freaking love her but um yeah recently she did it on dewberry more and it just reminded me so much of how much i love the challenge and just today i'm going to do it on myself i'm going to be doing half of my face and then leaving the other half bare in case you don't know what power of makeup is that is what it is it's just like showing that you are equally beautiful with or without makeup you know i think that was the whole aim when she started that um would i call it a challenge or when she just started the whole power of makeup thing it was just trying to tell people that with or without makeup we are beautiful so anyways without you know too much stories in the intro i'm just going to go ahead and start with the makeup so the first thing i'm going to do is spray my face with rose water and i'm going to be using this one from a brand called cc glam i got this rose water like a few days ago and i've been absolutely in love and another rose water actually that you all might be familiar with is this one from mario Badescu, which is this obviously you all already know this and this right here from cc glam is just um what's it called it's a more affordable mario Badescu. sincerely speaking both of them are almost exactly the same thing um they are both rose waters this is the one from cc glam which is a nigerian brand by the way and this is one from my desk you guys can see how much i use this it's almost out and this is my second bottle by the way so now that i've seen this and this is more affordable you know your girl likes cheap things in case you want to get this i'm going to put the account you can get it from right here you know nail experience which i kind of own so if you buy it you know you're helping my market okay you guys shop from nail experience anyways i'm going to spray my face with this I like to swim in it so now to prime my face i'm going to be using my pond lasting oil control you all know this already that is what i'm going to use to prime my face now i'm going to go ahead and draw my brows I'm just going to make this look very very simple well as simple as i like to go i don't think my simple is very simple like in my what's it called everyday makeup tutorial a lot of you was like oh my god this is your everyday makeup that like, this is their full-on glam but sincerely that was my everyday makeup if i'm doing makeup i have to i mean i have to do some certain things or not do at all so like i always have to glow it's not even it's not a question it's not an argument i always have to glow. so now i'm just going to go ahead and put on my lashes off camera because that takes me a while because i have curly lashes then i'm going to be right back okay so i am back <laughs> and i already fixed my lashes the lashes i'm wearing is the omalicha pair from now cosmetics which i'm going to put again the link right here <laughs> and right now for my foundation i'm going to be giving the color pop foundation a second try but i'm definitely not using it alone i'm going to be mixing it with my l'oreal true match but this is not my shade this l'oreal true match is a bit darker than my shade you guys can clearly see the difference this is the shade cappuccino and i can't even remember the name of my shade in this foundation i don't think i own my shade in this foundation because i used the um revlon whatever anyways i'm going to be mixing these two together to try and get my exact shade it looks so crazy oh my god um yeah look at how fine this face my and look at how dark my face is compared to my chest like i look like i'm wearing a mask anyways 
um i'm going to go ahead and conceal you guys like what are your thoughts when it comes to makeup like actually some of you that are in relationships married boyfriend girlfriend whatever like your spouse or your partner what do they think about makeup because i know some people that actually really 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 love makeup but then they are married or dating someone that you know is pro natural face pro natural beauty i mean makeup or not it's still the same person like it's just like telling a guy not to cut his hair that's what i think personally Sha. like telling a guy not to cut his hair and just carry the fruit and just let your hair keep growing i don't think that guy is going to feel good about himself so why are you telling your girlfriend or wife not to you know do makeup i don't even think it makes sense and sincerely in a relationship there are bigger things to worry about than whether or not i'm wearing makeup if you get what i mean you know a lot of other things to worry about how is the makeup i'm wearing a problem like <laughs> there are other problems you are facing why not face that and just leave my face for me i am also going to be using the color pop no filter setting powder to set my powder today and i'm using it in banana So you guys, what shows do people watch? I am a serious freak. When I mean freak, I mean freak. I don't think there's a show that I don't watch. Obviously, there's a lot I don't watch. But I love series so freaking much. That is what I do with my spare time. So just please let me know series that you watch down below. Especially now that every show is on break. I'm looking for new shows to start. I just started watching The Handmaid's Tale. At that show, it's absolutely amazing. Like, I don't even know why I'm just starting right now. So if you watch anything that is interesting, you think I might like to watch, please let me know. I will definitely, definitely start watching it. Because right now when I'm not doing anything, I am so bored. Like what I do with my free time is literally watch series. For blush, I'm going to be using Ambrin Rose from MAC Cosmetics, which I absolutely love. It looks like this right here. It has um, like tiny bits of, of like glitters inside, which I love. Look at me, glitters, glitters. Hey, <laughs> oh my goodness. Now to highlight, look, look, just look at how poppy this side is looking. To highlight, I am going to be using my Kali Bible palette, but not just that. I'm going to use just a little bit from there and also use my Colourpop in Au Revoir. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I absolutely love this as a topper. It's amazing. Can you guys see how this looks? I mean, it's all right, right? It's, it's all right. But right now, let's take it up a notch to the next level maybe next two levels you know and add this color pop and i know you guys can probably hear a sound there's a construction going on in my flat so that's the sound you're hearing but anyways let's take this up a little notch by applying just a little bit of this um color pop you guys see i'm going to tap off excess tap off the excess because if you don't if you don't tap off the excess <laughs> i don't want to even imagine it and then we're going to put this on top of this right here can, can you, like jesus i can't even talk again can you guys see the difference like can you see how now it literally looks like a reflection like you can see yourself if you look at my cheeks right now. it's amazing i just love that on its own i don't really use it that much on its own because um it has is is um what's it called it's a loose highlighter so it falls out a lot and it doesn't last as much as if you use it as a topper you get what i mean so i like it as a topper obviously i'm going to add more this is not enough you need to shine Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
you guys know we have arrived at this point. You guys already know that I'm going to add that to some other parts of my face, but I'm going to really, really tap it out. And finally, to set this whole face right here, I'm going to go back to the rose water and use that to set my face. Not me you guys if you see this outside this is not me if you see me looking like this pretend like you did not see me because it's not me it's that simple so guys this is the finished look i absolutely had so much fun filming this video um like i said if you see this outside nah this ain't me guys this is not me like i literally cannot recognize myself right now looking at my face from this side but when i turn to this side this is the me that i know this is the me that i am familiar with yeah i love how this makeup came out i almost want to go out looking like this just to get people's reactions i think that might be a good video to make i don't know like obviously i can't ask you guys to vote because uh, by the time this video goes up obviously this day must have gone but i'm going to see if i'll do it i'm going to see if i'm brave enough to actually leave my house looking like this and just get people's reactions on the streets I um, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I absolutely loved filming it. Give this video a thumbs up. And have you guys tried this power of makeup before? Let me know. Tag me your pictures. Obviously, I would love to see. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe, like, share. You guys already know the good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I think I said I'll see you guys in my next video enough. So I will actually see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Brody, get with the sing song, yeah.